This is a chocolate milkshake. No chocolate for the doggy. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome to my channel. So I was going through my makeup back here and I found some products that are just me. Some of them I do hate. <laughs> well hate, hate is a strong word. Some of them I do strongly dislike but some of these products a lot of people really love so I'm not hating on them I just they didn't work out for me and I wanted to let everyone know about it so this I actually do have on my lips I literally just put it on before I started filming this video I'm pretty sure that I got this in a birch box but this is juice booty <laughs> that's what I almost said juice beauty I just had finals Tuesday so I'm very brain dead still like I feel like I did so much studying and so much thinking on Tuesday that I'm done I'm done thinking and I apparently can't speak either that is also a side effect of finals if you did not know anyway juice beauty the organic solution this is a lip gloss in the color fig this isn't a bad product it's actually really pretty it's on my lips right now I do have other lip glosses that I like a lot more so the reason why I don't care that much for it is because within five minutes this is gonna be gone probably within this video this lip gloss is probably going to be gone off of my lips it has a really good smell to it kind of a fruity smell but it's very faint I do like that about it and it is really pretty on the lips I just have to apply it all the time okay this next one I feel like a lot of people really love and it's not terrible but it is the sweet peach glow palette so I bought this when the sweet peach palette the eye palette came out and the whole collection relaunched which was months ago I have to say was that back in December January I don't know I feel like it's been a while I've had friends that have constantly asked me what I think about this palette about the highlighting palette the blush and I'm always like eh. And like I don't know like I'm still playing around with it I don't know my feelings on it yet and I finally just decided that it's okay the highlight is okay I have other highlights that I definitely like a lot more this blush is actually really pretty um, however instead of buying this I wish I would have bought just the single blush because the blush is actually the only part of it that I really do like and then this bronzer down here, uh, it just looks really orange on my skin. And it does have some shimmer in it as well. So I would mostly probably use that as a bronze topper, which I don't really use bronze toppers that much, if ever. But that is what they look like. It's not a terrible product. It's just not something that I'm crazy about. While we're talking about popular things that a lot of people like, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. This is the Tatcha Luminous dewy skin mist this was expensive in love with the packaging it's just beautiful it's glass it looks very luxurious i like tatcha as a brand i understand why a lot of people like this and i've actually used a good bit of it you can see that i've used like half of it my skin does have a tendency to get oily in the t-zone so when i use this i just look a lot more oily -er than i should so i think if you have oily skin then you're not gonna like this product however if you have dry skin i completely understand why you would love this product it just doesn't work out that well for me but i've kept it all this time because one it was expensive and two it's really pretty since we're talking about expensive things we're gonna talk about this i got this in my boxy charm i am so thankful that i didn't pay for this the full price because then i would have been po'd this was $75. Okay, don't get me wrong. If a product is good and I see results with it, I am not above paying money for a product that makes a difference in my skin. So I'm not hating on it because it's expensive. The reason why I would be upset if I paid $75 for it is because I just don't see a difference in my skin after using it. This came in my February Boxy Charm. So you can use it one to two times a week with three days in between. So I've been using it twice a week with the three days in between and I just haven't seen a big difference in my skin. The Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliant 
exfoliator. Let me know if anyone has any tips because I would love for this to work for me, but I just, I don't see a difference in my skin after using it. Okay, next is this Milk Makeup Mascara. I got this, I think in a birch box, and it's this funky little applicator with these three pom-poms on it. I am very particular when it comes to mascaras. I didn't like this. It didn't really do much for me, so for that reason, I'm going to be passing it along. I recently did a haul on. I was so excited to try this. It is from e.l.f. It is a nourishing oil to foam cleanser. I just thought that sounded like magical. It is oil and it does turn to foam, but it burns my eyes so bad. I even read it and it doesn't say anywhere to avoid your eyes, but even when I avoid my eyes, it still gets in my eyes and it burns terribly, terribly, terribly bad. So you apply it dry to your face and you massage it and when you put water on it, it starts to foam. I used a good bit and I can't do it anymore. Sorry. Next is this little bitty eyeshadow sampler from the Revealed Smoky from Coastal Scents, the palette that just came out. Um, and it came with these two little colors. The palette itself might be amazing. I don't know if these are just duds, but when I swatch them, I don't know, the brown and the pinkish champagne one, they're both just really patchy and there's not a lot of pigment there. Uh, this is from Physicians Formula, which if you watch my channel, you know I love Physicians Formula. I wanted to try this youthful wear. I heard someone on YouTube talking about how this was their holy grail powder that they set their face with and I was like, of course I have to try that. Ooh, I didn't even realize that it smelled. I don't know if I like that smell. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Anyway, so when I first applied it, I was like, okay, this is really pretty. Well, I stepped out into the sunlight and my face started to sparkle like Edward from Twilight. I looked like a vampire, but there's like glitter in this and I don't like that. Yeah. This next product I actually got at a Mary Kay party. This is the foundation primer. It also does have sunscreen in it of an SPF 15, which I thought was really cool. And I put it on my face and it felt so amazing that I was like, yes, I have to buy that right now. It definitely has that silicone feel to it and it does fill in my pores. However, I just think it looks a little bit greasy on my face. It's not a terrible product and it might be the SPF in it that's causing it to do that, but I don't know. And when I bought this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have nothing like this. I have to have it. And then I opened my drawer and I have like six other silicone based primers. I really didn't need it. This product, I hate. I strongly dislike this product. This is the One Heck of a Blot All Day Liquid 2 Powder Foundation from Soap and Glory. It looks cakey and powdery on my skin and just looks really bad. I can't blend concealer on top of it or put powders on top of it because it just makes it look a lot worse. If you are extremely oily, then you'll probably like this foundation just because it does suck your skin dry. And my skin is not that oily to appreciate a product like this. So it just made me look flaky and cakey and not cute. This is the last product that I have. This is from St. Ives. It is Exfoliate and Nourish Coconut Oil Scrub. This, you can see I have used all the way down to right here. So you're supposed to put this on your skin dry and then add water and rinse off your makeup. The reason why I don't like this is because it leaves like this greasy film on my face after using it where I have other cleansing oils that do not do that. I don't personally like that. So I've been using this to shave my legs because I bought it and I wanted to use it up, which it's been working pretty well to shave my legs with. All right guys, that is it for this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.